So, you want to know how to glow? Well, go to the dollar store, grab one of those sticks, crack it, shake it, and now you're in business. Hey guys, welcome back to this by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at how to make a nice glow effect in GIMP or any other photo manipulation application. It's exactly the same thing. Um, so, a lot of people ask me about some glow because they've seen me do it a little bit ago. It's very easy to do, very fun to do. Um, so let's say that I want to make the holes in this knight's mask kind of uh, glow and light up. First thing I'm going to do is hit the new layer button down here and, and hit uh, OK. Add in a new layer. Um, I'm going to go to the, uh, the paths tool here. And we're just going to go ahead and, uh, and kind of fill this. And you can use the brush tool um, a very, with a hard brush, with a hard size brush. And just kind of draw it in like this. Um, now I want these lines to, I want these, this color to be... Uh, orange we'll make it like an orangish yellow like that so we'll uh, we'll kind of just do it with a brush you can do it with the pass tool but I'm gonna do it with a brush because these these uh, circles are very circular so yeah nice um, while we're doing this as you can see uh, just take your time go ahead and go through these like I said it's not too imperative that these are exactly perfect because they're gonna get blurred um, but just make sure that uh, you're not like doing like this oh whoa like nobody do um, just make sure you got it the, the nice general, nice general size of, uh, of these holes here. So we're going to go ahead and just, uh, kind of fill these in like this. We'll go all the way through this one over here as well. Yeah. This one too. And for these, we'll have to small, make our brush a little smaller. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm on three now is my brush size. These are a little more slitty because they're on the side. Obviously, you can see perspective is kind of going into uh, account here. And then, of course, for this, we will go ahead and uh, and I'm actually going to go ahead and use the uh, path tool for this because I don't want this to be messed up. And these are more straighter edged lines. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and do that. Pull it down a little bit. Nice. And go ahead and uh, curve these and hit enter when you've done with that. Um, and now we can go ahead and fill this in by just bucket filling that. Same thing with this side over here. Let's go ahead and grab that, pull it all the way across, up, like that, enter, and fill. Nice. Select none, and now we are done with that. Now, as you can see, it looks like this uh, knight is like a pumpkin on the inside or something. I don't know, but he has, it looks like something. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit duplicate. So right-click this layer that we just made of the, all the uh, color, and right-click that, duplicate it. Now we can go ahead and go to color uh, filter, sorry, blur, Gaussian blur. And now you can see if we were to blur this, it looks like uh, there is some blur going on on his mask, which as you can see, we can blur a lot. You can blur a little bit. We're going to do a couple different blurs, but this first blur, we're going to go ahead and just, we're just going to blur it very slightly. So it's just like a little, like a, a small fog glow on there, which looks nice, right? I'm um, hit OK on that. So about 10 pixels, I suppose. But as you can see, it looks kind of awkward because the orange in the center would be a brighter source of light than like the color orange. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to use this uh, two hour advantage and we're going to go ahead and duplicate this once more. So we'll duplicate the uh, solid colors and not the uh, blurred one. Let's duplicate that and we'll change this mode to we can do a couple of different things. We can do dodge, which will look really good. As you can see, that makes it look really bright. So what I'll do is I hit uh, filters, blur, Gaussian blur. But as you can see, it looks a little weird. We'll fix that in a moment. Don't worry. I'm going to switch this to like maybe actually we'll, we'll desaturate it first. So desaturate. We'll go to colors, hue saturation, and then we'll desaturate this basically almost all the way. Um, negative 93%. Hit OK. And now when we blur this, you can see that it is much easier to see what's going on. Now that was a little bit too much. So let's actually undo that saturation. It's easier to do the blur first so you can see how big it kind of is and then desaturate it after that. But uh, the more saturated it is, the, the more color that it takes out, obviously. So like I said, this looks really, really good. But the thing I don't like about this is that you can see that it kind of tints the armor or whatever the source is, is touching in a very particular way. Um, so we'll go ahead and make it maybe a little bit darker. Desaturate a little bit, but it gets rid of that brightness that I really like. Um, so we could also do overlay. We can also put this on overlay instead of um, instead of color dodge. Um, but that doesn't do too much. We can put it on screen. Screen's a really good one. And we can also put it on uh, da, 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 addition. Addition and screen are basically the same thing. I'm going to do screen and we'll just blur this a little bit. As you see, it's pretty decent. Blur it by a very soft amount. There we go. 
Now, the final thing I want to do is in, uh, with oh, I'm going to hide both of these blurred layers. So both of these right here are going to get blurred. What I want to do is I want to select um, the uh, the layer with the solid color lights. I want to duplicate that. Now I'm going to go ahead and select all these different pieces by using the select tool up here, holding down shift to select multiple uh, of these uh, of these pieces. So I'm going to select every single thing that we have, uh, all of these dots and circles, everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sh uh, select, shrink. We'll shrink it by like maybe five pixels. Maybe that's too many. Yeah, that's too many for this. Uh, by two pixels. Yeah, that's good. Shrink by two pixels. Go to select, invert, delete. And now you can see what we've basically done is if I hide the layer beneath, we've made the circles all smaller. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go ahead and go to colors, curves, brighten it so that it's a little bit brighter. And then we'll go ahead and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And as you can see, it kind of blurs it enough so that we have another like lighter kind of color inside of there, um, which looks really cool. So I can go ahead and undo those. I can redo, sorry, redo these, uh, these blurs. I want to also put the top one on, on screen as well. So now we have a really kind of bright looking thing going on, which looks really cool. Last thing I want to do is create one big glow over top of the entire thing. So we'll go ahead and go to our softest brush and then just turn the size up quite a good bit and then just click once uh, there in the center of the lights. Maybe go and make sure this is on, oh, maybe on a different layer, not in the same layer, on a different layer. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and go to screen and then just uh, color it down a little bit, uh, turn the opacity down a little bit. And that looks uh, pretty decent to me. I like the way that looks quite a bit now. But, um, but yeah, for now, that is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.